Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, let's talk some boxing. So we're looking at the last fight of the third card, which is the NBC card that features stars. And we're looking at Errol Spence versus Samuel Vargas, a welterweight fight. Basically, this welterweight fight features Errol Spence, I do believe. 15 wins, 12 by knockout, Samuel Vargas. 20 wins, 10 by knockout, 1 loss, 1 draw. Here's Samuel Vargas versus Flavio Torelli. Since both guys are in the black trunks, uh, it's going to be a little difficult for me to tell you who Vargas is. Samuel Vargas is this guy. He's circling here with the tattoos on his back. Okay. Flavio Torelli is this guy here. Okay. This was one of his more recent bouts. Actually, this is very recent. And um, I do believe that Vargas knocks him out in the fifth round. Now, you can see Vargas' style is kind of a uh, pressure fighter style. He's using his jab right now. Basic boxing skills. Staying on the outside for now against Torelli. You can see he crouches low to come on the inside, so he's more of a pressure fighter. Right now, he has to fight on the back foot, using his jab to control the fight. Torelli is kind of hopping in and out, but certainly the guy who's trying to push Torelli back is Vargas, so he's more of a pressure fighter. You can tell that almost instantaneously. He's moving from left to right, and then he's trying to come in on the guy. He's striking to the body. Slightly sharp for a pressure fighter, so this is pretty interesting. Okay, so let's move on. As the fight progresses, Torelli is trying to throw some combinations at Samuel Vargas. Okay. Notice uses the high guard defense, tucks himself into a ball, kind of like Alfredo Angulo, but you can tell he's more of a pressure fighter as he comes in, trying to strike his opponent. So I'm just going to get all the way to the fifth round, see if he takes out this guy. He's tagging him with those rights. He's coming in and he's tagging him. He's counter punching as well, it's pretty good. Oh, he gets caught there. So well, this is the level of boxer he is, Samuel Vargas. Errol Spence Jr. Errol Spence Jr., uh, this is uh, some covers courtesy Showtime. He's a southpaw, basically. Unfortunately, you can't really see all the ingredients here. He's fighting against a guy called Javier Castro. Right now, he's just kind of teeing off on him. Oh, right, yeah, he's just teeing off on him. And this fight's going to be stopped in a couple of seconds. Oh, Javier's actually striking back. That's good. Errol Spence gauging him with the left, the right hand. Left, right combination to the head, then a body shot to the spleen, and the ref stops the fight. So, uh,. Errol Spence is known as an explosive fighter. Um, Samuel Vargas, as you can see, uh, he looks like a prime candidate for Errol Spence to just showcase his skills on. I think they're again feeding Samuel Vargas to Errol Spence um, just by looking at that. Now, Errol Spence's resume, who is he actually beaten? Uh, he hasn't beaten anybody of name that I know of. So. I believe this is just another feeder, it's just another guy like uh, Javier Castro, but probably with a little bit more skill, as you can see, and a little bit more power. Uh, let's look at Samuel Vargas' resume. He doesn't even have a lot of knockout power. He knocked out the, the last guy, as you can see, wasn't a, a main kind of bout that people were actually looking at. He was in Montreal, Canada. He knocked out Flavio Torelli. 
Um, any notable names on his resume? Not really. So he's kind of trying to get out there after 22 fights. And um, Errol Spence, he's actually out there as a prospect, and they're trying to feature him, I believe, on NBC. So he's really has a... <laughs> You know, the thing about people's records is their records may say one thing, but then when you look at the level of competition they face, you realize what's up. So Spence is probably ranked higher than Samuel. Right? Yeah. And the level of competition, Spence has an 80% knockout ratio, and I believe he's going to dispatch of Samuel Vargas pretty much. But Vargas has a little bit of speed. You know, he's a little faster. Spence is going to have to break him down and then stop him. Um, in terms of criteria, level of opposition, they're about the same. The thing about it is, I think Vargas is custom made for Spence based on the last competitor that Spence fought and Vargas' fighting style, which is a pressure fighting style, which is the same thing like Javier Castro. The history of both fighters, well, Vargas has come off of one loss, and his loss was to... Uh, Pablo Monguia in Mexico, so somebody we just don't know about. And um, in terms of their styles, as you can see, pressure fighter versus boxer. Box the pressure fighter is going to be coming to the boxer all day long. It's going to be in the boxer's face, so it's up to the boxer to break on the pressure fighter and end the fight, pretty much. So that's what you're going to see. Here you're seeing again Samuel Varnus as he's trying to finish off uh, Flavio Torelli. That's basically it. Um, in terms of age, Vargas is 25. You believe it? He looks like an old man. <laughs> and Errol Spence is about 25 as well. Both about around the same age. But strangely, Vargas looks tremendously older. Nonetheless, this is the fight that we're going to see. I think it's a, actually a mismatch. Don't let the figures fool you. I think it's a mismatch. But the nice thing about it is that uh, Vargas, he's never been knocked out. And he has decent hand speed. So we'll see what happens, what transpires against uh, Errol Spence, who's a southpaw. In this case, he's fighting an orthodox fighter. Errol Spence has seen a fighter like him already in Javier Castro. So I do believe that Spence will dispatch off uh, Vargas probably knock him out. I would, I'd even predict what round he'd knock him out in about the fourth or fifth round. Or maybe, let me see, uh, I'll tell you. He knocked out, he knocked out Castro in the fifth round. So yeah, I'm correct. In about the fourth, fifth round, he's gonna probably break down and then knock out Samuel Vargas. So that's what I basically see. And that's basically it. So we covered all of the fights for the three fight cards, we made our predictions. So Friday, we're going to look to see how many of those predictions are correct. If the fights were exciting. This, this fight is a mismatch, I think. Even though it doesn't look that way on paper, I think it is just by examining the two styles. It's like Vargas' style is custom made for Errol Spence. But um, having said that, um, would it be exciting? Yes. It will end in a knockout? Yes. Will it feature Errol Spence Jr.? Yes. Taylor made fight. We'll go after this into matchmaking and how, again, matchmakers have, they, they, they select the correct opponents to help build a fighter along on his way. You guys have a great one. I hope you subscribe. Invite your friends to subscribe to my channel. And you guys always have a great day.